Hi viewers, we welcome you back again to the channel Relationships and Marriage Lamb. And we have been bringing stories to you, acted stories, on what happens in the relationships. And we are thankful to you because you have been following us, you have been uh, commenting, you have been liking our videos. We really thank you and we ask you, Kaidre, to continue supporting us by liking our videos, commenting and even subscribing. Now, now we have decided to change and to be bringing to you real stories of what happens in the relationships and in marriage and the effect those uh, the, 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 the things that happen in the relationships and in marriage, how they affect the children and how they affect the people who are in those marriages, those who are in those relationships and their children. So we are bringing to you real stories of the things that happen in the relationships and even in marriage. Some of the stories are very sad because when the relationships fail and the marriages fail, it is the children that receive the bro. It is the children that get affected. And now we decided to go to the streets and get the stories of what happens to those children we find in the streets. Why did they come out of their homes? Why did they leave their families? And some of them actually they don't have families. Why did they leave those homes? And we found that some of them it's not their will. They are forced by circumstances. Na tumekuja maeneo ya Roiro. Roiro is in Kenya, uh, near Nairobi, the capital city of Kenya. And we are capturing the story of a girl who has come to the streets because of what happened in her upbringing, in her early life. And I will not preempt the story. I want to invite her so that she can tell us her story and what made her to come to the streets. Karibu sana wanjiru. Asante sana. You will start by telling us Madina yako. Okay, Madina yako na ito Monka wanjiru. Aha. Nimetoka Ruiru. Aha. Lakini nyumba ni kwetu ni Nakuru. Uliku umetoka Nakuru? Eh, likuwa umetoka Nakuru ni kakuja Ruiru. Aha. Hari ya maisha ikakuwa ngumu kwangu. Aha. So ni kajipata ni mengia kwenye street. Aha. Yeah. Wacha tu tu anzie kutoka mwanzo wanjiru. Yeah. Ulikuwa na mama na baba? Nilikuwa na mama. Eh. Mamangu alikuwa single mother. Eh uh -huh. ulilelewa na single mother? Eh nimelelewa na single mother huko uh -huh. Nakuru. Mhm. Uh -huh. Mtawa Free Area Kiratina. Free Area mm. Kiratina. Eh. Mlizaliwa mkiwa wangapi? Kwa hiyo tulizaliwa tukiwa wanne. Eh uh -huh. ambapo sasa hizo wamefariki wawili tumebaki wawili. Mhm. Uh -huh. Eh. Yeah. Na mama alikuwa anafanya nini mkiwa watoto wachanga? Mamangu alikuwa mwanabiashara alikuwa uh -huh. na Mm-hmm. Mm. Kwa tunaishi kwao nyumbani kwa baba yake na mama yake kwa baba yake na mama yake mm -hmm. na walikuwa wanaishi pia yeye na madada zake walikuwa wamejenga huko oh walikuwa mm, alikuwa amejenga yeye alikuwa amejenga oh alikuwa amegawiwa shamba alikuwa amegawiwa shamba na akajenga nyumba yake mhm uh -huh. eh yeah. kwa hivyo ambapo saa hizi mm. tuliondolewa huko oh wakati alifariki wakati alifariki tuliondolewa mm. huko mhm na mama ndugu zake wakasema hatutaki huko na dada zake dada zake pia wao wenyewe mm. walikuwa mm. nataka wauze hiyo shamba pia mm -hmm. waliingilia oh walikuwa wanataka wauze shamba eh yeah. mm -hmm. walikuwa wanataka waiuze sasa waliingilia pale wakasema ni kweli tuondoke tuondoke tukatafute baba yetu sasa mliondoka mkiwa wainne tuliondoka tukiwa tulikuwa tumebaki watatu hiyo time mm -hmm. so na sister yako alikufa after mama yako alikufa eh yeah, after mama yangu kufa ndio sister yangu naye akarudi akaaga dunia what happened Eh yeah, mwenyewe alikuja kagongo na gari. Mm, sister yako. Eh yeah, aligongo mm -hmm. na gari. Mm -hmm. Yule aliyemgonga na gari. Mm. 
akamkimbiza private hospital Pine mm. Breeze. Mm. So alienda kacheza ukoro huko hospitali akalipa mm. bila la karaka. Mm-hmm. Alafu akasema tangu atakuwa ako sawa. Mm. Akamsimamia miezi tatu atakuwa akimpatia 200 kwa siku kwa siku hiyo miezi tatu. Tuseme ni kama mm walicheza mchezo mbaya huko vyo hospitali sasa mm. alikuwa toka hospitali kumbe alikuwa amevunjika mbavu alipeleka private hospital mm. so alitibiwa alilala huko siku tatu akarudi akadischargeiwa kwa mm-hmm. nyumbani tutakonea nyumbani ndio alivunjika mbavu lakini wapo waonekana mbavu alionekana tu mguu mkundi aliyego plaster mm. sasa bafu ilikuwa imefujika na hawa kuonyesha daktari eh wako ni daktari uh-huh. akatoroa hospitali eh akatoroa hospitali akarudishwa mm. nyumbani mm-hmm. Tangu naye alikuwa amechanganyikiwa jua ali, aliambiwa utapona hiyo mm. plastu utakanayo miezi tatu tuko utarudi urudi sawa wewe uko sawa kabisa. Mm-hmm. Akaulizwa alikuwa anafanya biashara gani? Yeye akasema mm. alikuwa anafanya tu biashara kufurie watu mangua. Akaulizwa mm-hmm. alikuwa analipa pesa ngapi kwa siku? Mm-hmm. Akawaambia alikuwa analipa 200. Mm-hmm. Sasa wao wengine walimpigia mahesabu. Mm-hmm. Wakasema atamlipa hizo pesa za miezi tatu atakuwa akimtumia pesa kila mwezi kila mwezi. Mm-hmm. Sasa so, unaona alirudi nyumbani. Mm-hmm. Kurudi nyumbani. Mm-hmm na yeye pia alikuwa ameingilia pombe alikuwa anakunywa zile pesa alikuwa anazitumia na pombe na bila mm-hmm. kujiangalia mwili wake mm-hmm. sasa hata kusema nikutolewa ile plaster kumbe mm-hmm. mbavu yake ilikuwa na shida imeharibika eh akaanza mm-hmm. kudhorotika mwili kuisha kuisha mm-hmm. hivyo hivyo mm-hmm. hadi mwishowe tu akafariki mhm uh-huh. alifariki tu hivyo hivyo mhm uh-huh. kanuachia watoto wake wawili alikuwa na watoto mm, alikuwa na watoto wawili mhm uh-huh. akaniwaachia sasa uh-huh. nikabidi jaribu vile naweza weza mm. nikajaribu na mimi kafika mahali nikalemewa nao mm. nikalemewa nao nikatafuta mmoja baba yake nikampatia mm. kabaki na kijana wake nikampeleka children's home mm-hmm. nikamwacha huko children's home mimi maisha tu ikakuwa ni ngumu pia kwangu mimi mwenyewe si zile za kuangalia so ulimwacha kwa children's home mm. na huyu sister mwingine what happened huyu sister yangu mwingine naye alienda mali kulajita naro mm kwenda nalo kwa kwa nalo kwa maisha iko nzuri kwake mm-hmm. sijui nini alipata huko nalo mhm alirudi kurudi nyumbani kama ako na goi time mfula kwa side moja ya shingo mm-hmm. sasa kikuja nyumbani ilikuwa imemlemea zaidi alikuja hadi mm-hmm. akiwa amechelewa mhm kumpeleka hospitali mhm hiyo siku tunampeleka hospitali kwenda kupimo pimo hivi tukaambiwa kesho yake turudi tumwangalie mhm tupata ameaga so mm-hmm. tatu aku ametibiwa sana mm-hmm. juu kitu ilikuwa imemzuia mpaka kuongea yani ilikuwa karibu kupasuka ni kama ilipasuka hiyo siku mm-hmm. siku mhm mhm sasa ikakuwa ni hivyo hivyo tukaacha wawili tukaacha wawili mhm huyo mwingine yuko mhm kwa kwake mm-hmm. na mimi sasa mimi mwenyewe mm-hmm. kwa size mimi naishi kwa street juu nilienda kwake nikapata na yeye ako na watoto wake anajaribu kuwasomesha mhm nikaona sitajifinyilia huko mimi nikarudi ruiru mhm nikaingia kuwa mtu wa street so maisha yangu sasa hizi ni ya street so wakati mlifukuzwa huko kwenye mm-hmm. na sister ya mama yako na brothers mm-hmm. ulienda wapi bikiwa wawili sasa wakati tulifukuzwa mm. tuliingia na kuru town mm. tukajaribu kukaa huko vyo kwa soko mm. kwa kwa soko tukoona hapana mm. kwa soko hatufaidiki hakuna mm. kazi tunapata mm. tukaambiana tuchukue gari tukuje saidi ya Thika mm. tukakuja Thika mm wana bika nako maisha imekuwa ni magumu siku tunakimbizwa na maaskari mhm mimi mwenyewe nikaamua hasa hapana nitakuja na ruiru yeye nikamwacha bika mimi nikakuja na ruiru hiyo akaoreka huko akapata mbona huko akaoreka mhm na wewe unaniambia uko na mtoto eh mimi niko na mtoto mmoja ulimpata lini mtoto wangu mwenyewe nimempata mtoto tu 2000 nini nimempata 2010 mhm 2010 nilipata huo mtoto mama alikuwa mamangu ali, alikuwa mm. alifariki nini mamangu amefariki hiyo nini 2010 mm. 2010 hiyo wakati ulipata mtoto hiyo wakati ulipata mtoto akiwa na miezi minne mm. ndio mama aliweza kutuacha mm. yeah. so mtoto wako akiwa na miezi minne mama akafariki eh, umefukuzwa na yeye umeenda na kuru na mtoto wako kuru town sasa mm. nimelalalala na yeye nje mm. Kwa hivyo ulienda kwa street yeah, na kuru. Ulienda kwa street na kuru. Mm. Sasa hakuna mm. fanya ningeenda watu wote wetu walitaki. Mm. Kama ni huyo mzazi wangu alikuwa kwa wamezaliwa wakiwa waine. Na wao waine wote mm. pia wao wako kwa ile shamba na wao ndio watutaki. Mm. Eh sasa hakuna kwenye ningeenda kwa mtu yetu yoyote. Mm-hmm. So mimi najipataka nimeingia hiyo na kuru town. Mm. Nimeanza kuwa huko street kwa soko nimekuwa mm. tu chokora hivyo hivyo. Mm. 
hadi tulipoamua kukuja huku sasa hizi venye niko hapa nimesimama vika nimeona vika si nzuri nikakuja ruiru na sasa mtoto mkiwa na kuru ulikaa na yeye mpaka lini mtoto wangu nikiwa na kuru nimekaa na yeye nimekaa na yeye nimekaa na yeye nimekaa na yeye miaka 3 alafu kamwacha wapi kwa na yeye miaka 3 nikaona pia maisha bila nilipeleka na amefika ni kuingia shule ameanza shule mimi nikaremewa nikamfuatia dada dada ya baba yake na baba yake mlikuwa na yeye kwa street baba yake tulikuwa na yeye kwa street na kuru lakini alikuwa ameanza kubarua vibarua wakati mmoja ikafika alipata ajali akagongo na gari yeye akafariki tukaenda tukamzika kwao western Mm, alikuwa mruya alikuwa mruya kutoka western mhm sasa tulipomziki kwa wenyewe wazazi wa kijana wakaniambia mm. wanaona bado mimi ni mdogo sana mm -hmm. aina haja nikae huko mm. inezaondoka mm. ninaweza pata nyumba mahali kwingine mhm eh juu wakakwambia waache na eh, mtoto uone a waniambia tu mtoto wajue mjue mtoto mm. ni wao nikimwahitaji wakatiwa wote naweza kuwapatia mtoto wako welcome yeah kurudi huko mm -hmm. lakini mimi juu bado ni mdogo ninaweza pata bwana na mwingine kuliko nijifunge na maisha hapo na mimi ni mdogo mimi nilipoambiwa hivyo niliona ni vizuri nikaondoka tu tulipomaliza kumzika nilikaa wiki tatu nikarudi nikaondoka lakini kwa saizi mtoto wao niliwapatia kwa maisha bila vifaa sasa uko peke yako saizi niko peke yangu ruiru na unaniambia unataka kuliform nataka nilifom kabisa na uanze biashara nataka nilifom nataka nianze biashara mungu mm. akinisaidia mm. unataka kuanza biashara gani mimi biashara nyingine nataka kuanza tu kama ni biashara ndogo ya kuuza mafuo ama kuuza maji mm -hmm. soda mm -hmm. Uko ready kufanya kazi? Eh niko ready kabisa. Uh -huh. mm. And now I want us to wind up. You can hear the story of Wanjiro. A very sad story, but she's willing to start again and start a business of which we want to see whether we can be able. But if you are there and you can be able to support us, you're welcome so that we can help someone to smile. We can touch her soul and bring life again because she had it she has had it laugh in life we make her smile again and now we want to say waheri bye bye amen amen, amen.